Hey, what's up guys? Mashin here, come back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can fill up your Steam wallet balance for nothing more than a little bit of your time. We're gonna go through flipping some of your skins. However, you will need to have a little bit of money to start unless you're looking to really grind out really hard. It's gonna be a lot easier if you're looking like you already have five-ish dollars. But even if you have 50 cents, you're still gonna be able to do this. It's just going to take significantly more time. Well, let's hop on into it. First up here, we're going to be looking at low tier flipping of skins. Now, the main thing you're going to want to look at is if you head over into your inventory, this is going to be the most crucial thing. As you go down to the sell here, you're going to see how much the buyer pays versus how much you receive. So if the buyer pays 24 cents, you're going to be receiving back 21 cents. Now, this is really important because this is the price range I really look at when you're beginning to flip skins. It's super low risk. And honestly, if you mess up, you're not going to lose anything. I mean, the value of the skin is under a quarter, but I've got a couple skins lined up here. But what I found to get these skins is I went and I sorted just all of the CSGO skins. I did field tested, minimal wear, factory new, normal, and in the mil spec grade. Now, I didn't include any battle scarred or well-worn skins just because those can take significantly longer and it can be much harder if you're trying to get started and if you're looking for something that might be a little bit easier to flip a little bit quicker. So I just like to go with those three. I did the normal and the mil spec because you also want to avoid stat track. It's, it could take a little bit longer as well. But I've got a couple skins lined up here. First up, I've got the MP5 Acid Wash. Now, this is one I would go for just because you can sell it for that 23 cent range and you can throw a buy order for 19 cents. One thing people often forget is you don't have to be the cheapest on the market. The markets fluctuate day and night and that's why you can see on the graph how it goes up to 24, 25 cents even and all the way down to 17, 18 cents. You don't have to be the most expensive on the market. It will get bought and sold eventually. However, if you go for this 20 cent price range here, you're going to have to sell for 24 cents where there's an extremely large amount of competition. This one's good though because you can throw a buy order for 19 cents and you're really not going to be losing anything. Throwing up a buy order really does doesn't harm you in any way. Next up for one of my cheaper flips as well then we've got the P90 Grim in minimal wear. This one is really nice because you don't exactly have to go for a lower buy order. You can go for 20 cents here. You're going to have a very small amount of competition and the nice thing is you're going to be able to sell at 24 cents. Now it seems like there might be a decent amount of sell orders here. But if we look at how many of these are going every hour, we're looking at 20-ish, 10 to 20-ish every hour, and that's going to be very easy to sell your items off. I, had, I don't think you're going to really have much of a struggle here selling for 24 cents. Next up here, we've got a pretty big one. This one is really good. It's the UMP45 Corporal Minimal Wear from the Phoenix Collection, and this one's got a lot of profit potential on it. You can throw up a buy order for 21 cents, only 22 currently out there. Those will be going pretty quickly and you can come down here and it's selling for 27 cents. This is an absolutely insane amount because you can sell for 26 cents. And if we come over to our calculator, if we see the buyers paying 26 cents, we're going to be making 23 cents. We put a buy order up for 21 cents. That's two cents per, and that's going to be some really easy, painless profit as long as you're just not really consistently focusing on this. That's the one problem is people like to fixate on these lower tier flips, and that's really just going to be a waste of your money because you're spending so much time and effort on it for two cents. But if you come over here, check it once a day for 10, 20 seconds, see what you have, throw them up there for 26 cents or even 27 cents if you want to wait a little bit you can definitely be able to get some good amount of profit back without having to do little to no work. So what I like to do just to find these skins is I'll go through the price range of about 20 cents to maybe 30 cents, whatever in your price range at this lower amount. And you're just clicking on all of these, opening them up in new tabs. And I'm just going through seeing 24 cents and it's selling for 26 cents. That's not good enough for me. 25 cents, nope, 23 cents and still not really that good 23 cents again we can check 23 cents we'd have to buyer would have to pay 26 is there a lot of eh, there's a little too much competition for something like this that's not really that popular i'd probably pass and you can just keep going down the list check in all of these skins you're gonna find some eventually the the ones i found didn't take me too long and you just sit here go through check this 
and then you move on to the next page. It's super easy to do. And if you've only got a dollar or two in the balance, this is the best way in my opinion to build up a little bit of Steam wallet funds. Because if you wanna move into higher tier flips, flips that are in the dollar range, you gotta have that money. You can't be waiting around forever. You gotta have that money and this is the best way to build up some balance without really having to do too much work for it. Now that you have a little bit more money in the bank, you've got a lot of options that you can go through here. I start to look at a little bit of the older collections. I've got this P2000 Grass Leaves here in Well Worn, and I can see there's obviously a huge difference. Buy orders, I could get one for $245, sell it for $330 ish. So if I put in $245, I received $245. I would only have to sell it for 281 to break even and there's a little bit of room there. Now I do warn you, this one and our other one here, this one's got a $3 discrepancy. Now that's a very large amount, however these are not often sold. In the past month we've got maybe a handful, 10-ish sold. So these are not going to be necessarily bad flips, but they're going to take significantly longer. And that's something you got to factor into this. When you obtain the skin for maybe $6.10, you can see that just the buy orders here, there's so much difference in the price. It's not that competitive for the skin, but you can still be able to turn a good profit over time. And it's not too hard to do. It's just going to take time. I mean, there's a lot of these skins out here in the 10 to $15 range. You're not going to be competing with this. This one, these older collections, you definitely want to be the cheapest one on the market. Since if someone's looking to pick one of these up, they're probably going to go with the cheapest considering like this one, it's factory new. They're all 0.06 to 0.07 in float. That's not going to matter to them. Stickers probably aren't going to be making the difference if there's a big price discrepancy. I'd probably sell this for $8.99. And if we list it for $8.99 we would have to buy it for 782 to break even and we'd probably end up buying this for around 605 so 605 782 we'd be making a dollar 77 here and that's a really easy dollar 77 to add to the bank now to find skins in this range once again i just go through i've just got it set as price ascending and i just really go through i'll go up to the url here i plugged in a thousand to start and it got me around this range and i've just been paging through checking out any of the ones that look interesting here and i can see if they have a big enough price discrepancy between the buy orders and the first selling to see if it's really worth the time you can usually get a really good feel of it just based off that and a lot of these skins you can tell right away like this is from the cs20 collection i know that because it's just the p90 nostalgia so it's probably not going to have a big enough price discrepancy in factory new it's a case that's still relatively opened a lot and it's probably not something that is going to have a dollar or two discrepancy that's going to make it worth my time. But if you page through here, I definitely promise you that you will be finding some good skins over time. It didn't take me that long to find the ones for this video. The longest portion of your time is going to be taken up with just waiting for those buy orders to come in and then your turnaround time. It's not going to be too hard to really get the skins, but it might take a little bit longer, especially if it's some of the ones we looked at that are from older collections. It might take a little bit of time. And definitely always plug it into your calculator if you're a little bit unsure. Like here, 856, we could see how much that really takes. 856, oh, we'd have to buy it for 983. It's really not worth it here. The last thing I'm going to say then is try to avoid souvenirs at all costs. Souvenirs are very different than what we've looked at in this video. This video we looked at a lot of skins that don't have variable factors, but souvenirs are completely different. Souvenirs are really hard because you can get any souvenir skin. That could be one that has all the stickers scratched off. It could be one where it's got just the worst player ever imaginable. It could be one where it's got these Berlin 2019 stickers. No one wants these. But if you look at all these other ones, like the E-League stickers, those look extremely nice. 
So it's really hard you can get stuck with some really bad items and not be able to sell them. As you can see, someone bought one here, $13.69, obviously wasn't the cheapest one. So people don't go with the cheapest one when it's a souvenir like this. And even though there is a large price discrepancy here, I would personally avoid it. I don't think it's a very good buy. Finally then, we have high tier flips. Now high tier flips are really hard to do. Looking at the red line here, 1721. It doesn't seem like that is really that expensive, but if we look at how much we'd have to pay, 1721. We'd have to get someone to pay almost $20 to break even, and that's a really hard thing to do. Red line here, obviously not going to happen. It's a very popular item, but what this kind of introduces is just holding on to the item you're flipping for a little bit here. It's almost as if you're kind of short-term investing. Any big update that happens, this is the best chance you have to flip for some super easy profit. As we saw last operation in the December era, we saw this skin drop down to $14 and go back up to over $20 in just a span of a month. If we bought them for $14, we would only have to sell them for $16. But since they were selling for $20, those people are making almost three and a half dollar profits if they bought at that low of $14 and you could even get it for a little bit lower here. So it's super easy to do whenever a big update comes around. You just got to be in the right place at the right time. And this is how all big flips work. You're not going to be making money by the discrepancy between the price and the first selling. It's just not going to work like that. There's not enough demand for almost all of the skins. But this is the one way you can make a lot of money if you're just willing to write as an operation, write as a big update drops. When you see these prices that just start crashing, you can buy into them then and you can make a ton of profit. But that's really all I have for today, guys. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions regarding skin flipping, make sure to drop them down in the comments below. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.